Welcome to Data Security Module 6, Section 1. My name is Pat Cupoli. I'm the Certificate Mentor at Edmonds Community College, Piece at IT Data Management Program. In this section, you will be introduced to activities and concepts associated with the core principles and guidelines for managing data security. We will look at basic definitions, key concepts, key activities, area of studies, and primary takeaways. An organization's internal security needs comes from various principles and needs for access control. They are the following three. Identification, which is the verification of the identity of the person who claims to be that person. Authentication, which signifies that the data documents or transactions are validated to be genuine. Also, it is important to validate that both the sender and receiver involved are who they say they are. And last, Authorization, which is the identification of who should be granted the right privileges to access various views of data. Integrity maintains the accuracy and consistency of data in that the data cannot be modified in an unauthorized or undetected manner. Risks are the likelihood that something bad will happen to the data or information asset. Vulnerabilities, which are weaknesses and threats which have the potential to cause harm, are examined. An audit is a way to assess risk during the review of security actions and user activities. Security classifications for data and information are important in recognizing the value of information and defining the appropriate protection procedures. Factors should be taken into account such as how valuable the information is to the organization and whether the information is current or obsolete. Laws and regulations may have considerations when classifying data. These are some of the core principles and guideline activities described in the DEMA DMBOC. First, to understand data security needs and regulatory requirements, to classify information confidentiality, and to audit data security. You will now complete a set of readings and videos related to these topics. As you work through these activities, consider the following questions. What are the three principles for access control? What is identification? What is authentication? What is authorization? What does data integrity mean in terms of security? What is a risk? What is a data security classification for data and information? What is the role of laws and regulations in terms of data security? What is the role of business requirements within data security? Why should a data security audit take place? Primary takeaways from this section include the following. One, that data security ensures that the right people can access, use, and update data in the right way. That the integrity of the data is handled by restricting inappropriate access and update that data security privacy and confidentiality requirements come from external laws and regulations and internal stakeholders. And last, that risks are examined in terms of potential and real threats and vulnerabilities to the data.